why don't you get your nails done? His words made my face hot. No man had ever said that to me. And I was wondering, what on earth does that have to do with our dating or relationships? Well, today's video is a little different. I am telling a story about how do you feel cherished intentionally and how do you have that deep craving met inside. So we were back sitting in that car and his innocent question just robbed me of my words. I had no idea how to respond to him. You know, I just kind of sputtered, well, I'm a grad student. I don't have any money for that. But really, there was more going on. I felt like doing things for me, like having my nails done, you know, that was just frivolous. That was just over the top. And I had no need for that, right? I could just get to the... The bottom line, what did I really have need of? But then this man did something unique. He actually did something that changed my life. He reached his hand into his wallet and gave me some money. And he said, Mary, I want you to see how valuable you are. And for the next five years, I never went a day without having my nails done. And that man in the car became my husband. True story. And it took years for me to even tell him how meaningful that was. You know, it wasn't just, oh, can I live this luxurious lifestyle? Or do I have to prove anything to anybody by having this certain look? No, it was this deep part of me that he was choosing to see. But you know what? Even before he could see it, I had to see it. And I had to allow that part of me to be seen. I was, I was being tough. I was plowing through life. I was trusting God, but still I was shouldering so much. And to be able to let someone in like that was absolutely amazing. Everything in my past had told me to hide, but I chose to be seen. And that opened the door to the most amazing, electrifying, engaging, and exciting intimacy that I had ever known. And it started with my heart. It started with getting to that very vulnerable place. And you do it with you and God and you and yourself before you are ever able to enter that place with someone else. So here is what I discovered all along the path of being deeply known and cherished intentionally. First of all, we crave it. We crave to be deeply known and loved. Secondly, it's a good thing. It's a God thing. It is a part of our design. So all of that is on the pro side. Now, there is a negative. How do we meet that need? Are we choosing to meet it in a healthy way? There are so many substitutes that are inferior and hurtful. And anytime you are filling yourself with something less than those good things that God has planned for you, then it will have an impact. You know, walking in that place of trust and love from God has an impact. Walking in that place of just shouldering things on your own and not being able to open up and trust it has an impact. But this brings me to the third thing that I learned, which is the amazing part for marriage. You can be that resource for your spouse. You're not taking the place of God. You're not taking the place of how your spouse needs to see themselves. But if you can choose to love them intentionally, to see those deep places, oh my goodness, just like me, you will change their life forever. Now listen, if you want some more support with walking that out, I have a Dare to Love 
coaching bundle. It includes a one hour coaching session and seven different marriage and relationship tools that will help you walk it out. So see the link below the dare to love bundle. And I dare you to love like that. Thanks so much for joining me and remember that God's design for a thriving marriage is to be intimately known spirit, soul, and body.